My setup's origin dates back to the beginning of the lockdown. It was kick-started by a small TV stand that I had laying around the house. Over a period of three years, I slowly started upgrading it. I'm proud of what the whole thing turned out to be, and I hope it inspires you to build your own. In today's video, I'll share with you one of my most recent upgrades. Let's go. Between working, gaming, and light media consumption, I spend a lot of time on my desk. A desk that measures at 55 by 28 inches, it gets messy very quickly. And I constantly find myself having to arrange and sometimes remove items that I don't often use. I wanted a bigger desk initially, but this is what my room could handle at the time. In fact, I considered changing the tabletop to a bigger one but it's going to cost at least 200 US dollars if I wanted a decent tabletop, not to mention the drilling and measuring and the nightmare of cables. The desk itself can handle it as it's designed to handle different tabletop lengths. So instead, I decided to start using the monitor riser from a previous desk setup. I used it to raise the monitor to a comfortable height, but I have no use for it since I now use a monitor arm. So I stored it away. I decided to bring it back so that it'll give me a little bit more usable surface area, mainly my lenses and camera as I like to have them close by. And it worked great. So I thought, why not get something even bigger with a better build quality? The one I'm using costs like 15 US dollars. Not that I was disappointed with the quality, but it was a temporary solution that stuck. So I started doing some research and I came across a brand called Vadir. They manufacture mostly desktop and computer accessories. The first time I saw one of their products was when I came across one of their mini wired keyboards. Most of their product seem to be built well and they have excellent reviews online. The prices were not so bad given the quality they offer. They don't have a huge selection of products which is usually a good sign that the products they build are usually of great quality. Back to the monitor stand. They have about 7 styles with different variations. The one I picked is the single monitor riser with a wireless charger and a USB hub. Now let's do a quick unboxing and show you what you get in the box when you order it. Honestly I was expecting a bigger box when I ordered it. Anyhow you're greeted with a simple unboxing experience. You get the legs, one of them that houses the USB hub, the power adapter, and the horizontal piece. Putting it together is very simple. You attach the legs to the horizontal piece, you connect the power to the wireless charger, and then the wireless charger has a wire going to the USB hub, and then place it on your desk. And this is what it looks like after I place it on my desk. It's bi-directional, meaning you can have it facing either way. So you can place the wireless charger either on the right or on the left. It's also worth noting that the USB hub is always turned on because it draws power from the provided power brick, not from your PC. This is super useful as I can use it to charge my mouse and keyboard and power other gadgets that requires constant power. The build quality is amazing. The horizontal piece is made out of metal and it's powder coated. It feels smooth and it's scratch resistant. Not that I attempted to scratch it, but it feels solid. There's no flex to it whatsoever. The legs, however, are made out of plastic, but they're also very well made and don't feel cheap at all. The USB hub for someone like me is definitely not a gimmick. I plug and unplug devices all day long as a result of editing and working between two laptops and a desktop. The wireless charger is an added bonus for me. I was never crazy about it or found it useful in previous scenarios. But now that it's here, we'll see how often I end up using it. It supports fast charging by the way. Overall, I'm super happy with this choice. The color matches my setup perfectly. It has given me the space I needed. In fact, I'm so happy with it that I decided to go for their best offering, a two-tier riser that's twice the length of this one, at 98.5 centimeters or 39 inches. 
it's on the way once it arrives i'll make a video about it so if you don't want to miss it make sure you're subscribed now although it ended up serving a different purpose as the name suggests i think this is something that everyone can benefit from especially if you're tight on space or like to keep your setup compact it hides my keyboard when i'm filming or when i need space to unbox or work on my laptop speaking of laptops it's because of the lack of space that i ended up storing it underneath my desk when i'm not using it i'll put the link in the description for both risers they dear do sell on amazon but a lot of times you end up with a better deal if you shop from their website directly. They ship internationally and the shipping only costs $5.99 with a transit time of 25 to 35 days or $9.99 for a transit time of 15 to 25 days. Now, I have some experience in logistics and I can tell you the following. 25 to 35 days is slow. However, it's an amazing deal on shipping. The size and the weight of the box can easily run you up to $100, if not more. But they kept it affordable. If you want to shop with them, I'll leave a 5% discount code. You'll find the link in the description. I strongly recommend you check them out. They seem to have some solid products and amazing build quality. Just as a disclaimer, Vader did not pay me to review their products. The opinions you hear here are mine and mine only. This has been it. I have few more upcoming videos on these two items here. If you want me to test something ahead of posting the video, let me know in the comments. And if you lasted this long, thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video.